Mets President Sandy Alderson said there was not one dissenting voice when the team did its background check before hiring general manager Jared Porter last month. But after he and owner Steve Cohen saw the abhorrent text messages that Porter sent to a female reporter, they said they acted quickly in letting him go. Suffice it to say, had, had we known about it in advance before Jared was hired, it would have been a disqualification. Jared Porter had been considered a rising star by many people around baseball. But Monday night, a report by ESPN detailed Porter's explicit and unsolicited text messages to a female reporter while he was with the Chicago Cubs organization back in 2016. Porter reportedly sent more than 60 unanswered messages, including several images where he exposed himself before apologizing to the woman. I'm very <clears throat> uh, sorry for... Um, the woman involved. Mets owner Steve Cohen tweeted the decision to fire Porter early Monday morning, saying there should be zero tolerance for this type of behavior. For Cohen, the report comes on the heels of an unsealed, previously settled gender discrimination lawsuit at his financial company, Point72. That lawsuit revealing allegations of a sexist and hostile culture. For the Mets, the firing comes just one year after the team fired Carlos Beltran just months after he was hired as manager. In that case, the team failed to uncover Beltran's part in a sign-stealing scandal that was revealed later in reports. This is a wake-up call. Uh, I mean, it, it clearly suggests that something like this can be out there in connection with almost anyone. Uh, and we have to do our best uh, to make sure that um, we know about that information. According to the report, at least one member of the Cubs organization knew about the incident shortly after it happened, but said nothing. That person is no longer with the team. Alderson says the fact that the woman left her profession and the country because she felt scared and uncomfortable is an indictment on Major League Baseball and society as a whole. I think this happens lots of places, and it's tolerated too many places. And at least with respect to MLB, there's a policy to deal with this and deal with it harshly. And um, hopefully, as we go on, these kinds of incidents will become fewer and fewer. And now word that MLB is investigating the incident and that Porter will likely be suspended by the league. As far as the Mets general manager position is concerned, Alderson said they do not plan to fill it 